Hello, welcome to my channel. I was looking into the disappearance of Robin Renee Williams, and she went missing from Port Angeles, Washington, 24 years old, 5 foot 4, 110 pounds, brown hair, green eyes, last seen at approximately 4 p.m. August 1st, 1986. She was with a man she was seeing, but that day they got in an argument, they broke up. She was last seen walking away from his pickup across the ball field at Lincoln Park. She's never been heard from again. Her vehicle was left at a gas station when she vanished. She had two toddlers that she had left with a friend and the friend reported her missing five days later. At the time of her disappearance, her estranged husband was in Great County Jail on a misdemeanor charge and police didn't ask him to take a poly polygraph about the case at the time, but he later moved to Alaska and he took a polygraph there about his wife's dis disappearance in 2016 and he passed. Um, they're not sure what happened to her, but so I'm, um, you know, I go looking state by state, you know, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Nevada, and in Nevada, we have this Jane Doe, and she's 5'6 to 5'7, where she is 5'4, but she, her estimated date of death is two to four weeks prior, which would be maybe around August 27th, or later, um, August 30th or later. So she goes missing August 1st and this lady dies about, you know, a month or four to six weeks maybe after she goes missing. And she's found in Las Vegas, Clark County, Nevada, kind of in the middle of nowhere a bit, but it says she was 92 to 112 pounds which she weighed about 110 pounds. It said she was 20 to 35 years old, which she was 24 years old. Light brown, um, or light to medium brown hair that may have been previously straight, six to nine inches long. Um, it said she had given birth to at least one child and this said that she left behind two toddlers. So, um, Let's see, it also said that she hadn't been in the area. They didn't think she'd been there long. So she was found in a cave on the outskirts of Las Vegas, an open desert about two and a half miles west, two and a half miles south of West Charleston Boulevard and about four miles west of Antelope. She was found in a cave, nude, lying partially under a blanket. Some clothing was found nearby. She had no traumatic injuries. It appears she may have been living there for a short time. So it doesn't seem like they know how she died. But it doesn't seem like she was there for long. And since she went missing August 1st, if that was her, she wouldn't have been there long. So I took some photos and I put them next to each other to see if she looked like her. And you look at the nose. And then I look at the way the eyes are and the shape of her face. And even look at her haircut and stuff like that. And the shape of her chin, the shape of her nose, the shape of her eyes. Um, I don't know if it's her or not. You know, this is the artist's rendering sketch. And so I can't tell for certain. And I'm not sure. But I was looking for someone that appeared to be similar to her. And she seemed very similar, and it was about the same time frame. So I thought, well, maybe it could be her. But I don't know for sure. So let me know, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Do you know anything? And um, don't forget to pray for their loved ones and their family. If you have any information, please contact the authorities. And have a great day. Bye-bye.